Liquid hydrogen is one of the main propellant sources for the SLS rocket. Unfortunately, it's kind of a finicky propellant to use because the molecule itself is so small. That means it can leak out in any tiny crack or crevice that it may flow by, and that's exactly what happened Saturday morning on this second launch attempt. Launch director Charlie Blackwell Thompson calling a scrub for the day here at the Kennedy Space Center. After multiple attempts to work through the problem, the SLS team was unable to stop the leaking hydrogen, which forced the scrub for the second launch attempt. The first scrub last Monday turned out to be a faulty sensor. It is incredibly normal for a brand new rocket like this to have these troubleshooting periods. At least 489 things have to go right on launch day, and that doesn't include unexpected problems like a fuel leak. Even though it hasn't launched yet, every time the teams go through this process, they get more data and experience working through the countdown. And this is the first human class mission in over 50 years. So we're doing something that uh, is incredibly difficult to do and uh, does carry inherent risk in it. This critical mission will verify that the SLS rocket is safe to launch and the Orion spacecraft can ferry astronauts to and from a lunar orbit. Reporting from Kennedy Space Center, Amanda Holly, 8 on your side.